Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Hello, do you hear me? Hello, teacher. Aha, how are you, teacher? Fine, wow, you are with all your powers with the English skills, right, Nelson? Uh, Nelson, how are here. you? Why why didn't you join yesterday? We miss you. Thank you, teacher. Ayer eh, preocupado estaba porque no pude entrar. Really? Well, nice to see you here. And thank you for joining on time, guys. I'm just trying to make sure that the camera is working fine because I got the camera from my from my laptop right now. And the other one, I don't know why it's not working. So just allow me one moment. Let's see. Aha, Jaime Antonio. Abelar Cortez, how are you? <laughs> Yo dije ayer, ya no voy a tener con quien pelear en la clase. <laughs> Yo porque no había Mr. Jaime. <laughs> No, 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 Really? Well, I hope that you can fix it later and that you can resolve that, okay? Okay, um, guys. So, nice to see you again, uh, Jaime and Nelson, okay? Because you, you was not here yesterday. You can watch the, the class, okay? I, I will send to you the link. Um from the YouTube channel so you can watch the classes. I will send to you the link so you can watch the classes, guys, okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so since guys, oh, we will go ahead and, and start with the attendance list. And as well, Marielos, Sabrina, Luis, Amilcar, Carla, Maggie, Walter, um, Jarixa, Ismael, Jessica, Milton, Milton is here as well. Um, Ileana, Angela, Julio, Kenny, it's a pleasure to have you here, okay? Thank you for joining. And Julio as well, thank you for joining. Okay, so guys, um, we will go through the attendance list really quick right now, and then for the ones that missed yesterday the class, you will introduce yourself, okay? Because Jaime, Nelson, and uh, Milton, as you can see, we have new faces today, all right? So that's why they want to know you, okay? That's why you will introduce yourself, guys. So how are you guys? How's the weather where you live? Did it rain? No, it didn't rain. It didn't rain. No, no raining. No teacher, no raining. Really? Wow. Here it, it was hard. raining. It's really hot. It's but it's really hot. <laughs> it was here. It was raining. Uh, right now I am in Huachapan at I don't know if you know it, but it was raining cats and dogs. Well, it was really hard. It is raining cats and dogs means that the, that it was a, a, a storm, actually. So it is in the west part of the country. You know, Santa Ana, Huachapan. So, 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 I don't know, so, so not there, but Santa Ana and Huachapan, it was raining a lot. And yes, that's pretty much it. Hello, Jonathan, welcome. Y 
Hello, thank I'm sorry, I'm so late because I am working now. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. And thank you for, for having this, I mean, for making the effort of being here, Jonathan, okay? Thank you a lot. I know you're doing a great effort. Guys, as I, as I said before, I will send to you the link of the YouTube channel so you can watch the class. In case you need to watch it again, you can do it, okay? So just one moment and I will go through the attendance, all right? So, and now it's hot, guys. Now it, it is stopped raining, but it's hot. So weather is crazy today. And this shouldn't be sun, summer, right? It, it shouldn't be summer. I mean, it, it is not May yet. So it shouldn't be raining, but thanks God, we got raining today and it was awesome. <laughs> I miss the raining, I miss the raining. Okay, guys, so please help me out to say present, okay? And turn on the camera and try to put your full name. I believe everyone has the full name here. Milton doesn't want to talk today. Milton, hello. Hello, how are you, Milton? Hello, night teacher. How are you, Milton? Fine? Fine. Great. Okay. Okay, guys. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Oh. Estefania, is, oh, Estefania, thank you. Okay, so today is Tuesday the 15th, okay? Tuesday the 15th. Let's see. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del C. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Mabel, Mabel. <ríe> Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Ismael is missing, right? Oh, yes, he's here. Thank you, Ismael. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortés. Present teacher. Great. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis Gonzalez López. One moment, Jonathan. Hola, hola, presente, aquí estoy. Teacher, la cámara. Y... Hola, hola. Thank you, thank you, Jonathan, and sorry for the camera. Let's see. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Jorge, I haven't seen Jorge. Mm, okay. Uh, Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Great. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Yes, I saw Julio here. Julio? He's there. I saw him. Julio, Julio Cesar. No, maybe there is a problem with the connectivity. Okay. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening, Kenny. Thank you. Linda Magali Garcia Montoya. Present, teacher. Maggie. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Gómez Garcia. Present, teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos is missing, right? Ajá, Marcos. We will give him a penalty today. No, no, no. Maybe there is a problem um, arriving home because he lives near Los Chorros. So maybe there is a there, there was a problem in Los Chorros Street. So maybe that's the reason. So I understand. Don't don't worry. Let's see. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Lidia Godinez. Marta. Sabrina Lizeth Garcia Orellana. Present. 
Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Present. Great. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present teacher. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Ok. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Constanza hasn't connect yet. That's weird. Um, Carla, you was yesterday in classes, right? I remember you was there. Constanza was not here. Zulma Jarexa was here. Lucia Susana Chicas, you was here yesterday. I don't know why you didn't get saved. Lice del Carmen Hernandez. I don't remember. Lice, uh, give me a second. I just want to make sure about your face. Lice, were you in classes yesterday? No, right? No. Ah, ok. No. Ok, don't worry, it's ok. Es que fíjense que estoy revisando y por alguna razón como que ese, ese pedacito, el de abajo, los últimos participantes no se guardaron asistencia ayer. So it's weird, pero I remember. So thank you, Carla, Elizabeth. Escobar Esquivel, you already say present. present. And Lisette del Carmen, you already say present. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you very Teacher. much. Yes? Teacher, Julio Cesar dice que va manejando, que no le va a poder estar contestando, pero que sí está conectado. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Thank you a lot. Teacher. Yes, don't worry. It's okay. Teacher. Yeah? Ya a, a mí me escucho que le dije present. Yes, Ismael. Thank you. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. bueno. Thank you a lot. Okay, guys. So we will go ahead and hear the new um, participants. All right. New for some of you. So we want to know about them. All right. So we're talking about Jaime, Lisette. Um, who else? Ay, Milton and Nelson, okay? So let's start right now with um, Mr. Avelar. Go for it, Mr. Avelar, okay? Oh, by the way, give me just a second because I will share this screen so you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Guys, do me a favor because I, I am in a different place right now. Si ustedes escuchan algún tipo de sonido que les esté interrumpiendo la clase, teacher, se escucha algún ruido. Déjenme saber, por favor, ¿ok? Porque se supone que esto me ayuda un poquito a reducir el sonido, pero si usted escucha un sonido que le está distorsionando, dígame, all right? Yes, please. So please tell me, teacher, there is a noise in the background. Dígame, okay? Please, 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 porque no quiero que, 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 que haya distorsión en el sonido, okay? O que los estén distrayendo con algún sonido, please. Porque a veces yo escucho, pero ustedes no escuchan. Y hay sonidos que sí se escuchan. So please tell me, okay? Let me get a second. Okay, here I have it. Okay, guys, so officially we in the, we're in the class uh, two. All right, today we will talk about half for obligations. I believe there is an, there, this is a topic that we were missing before. Um, so today we will study that. We will focus ourselves in half, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, listen to the ones that, that we don't know, okay? So let's listen to Mr. Avelar. Mr. Avelar was with me in the previous course. However, for some of you, um, he's new. So we will hear uh, Mr. Avelar. Mr. Avelar, you can follow this. Uh, hello, my name is Shalalala. You can call me Shalalala. I am 
which is your occupation. And one fun fact about me, it can be like a curiosity about you. Una curiosidad, alguna historia que usted no quiera contar de usted. Pequeña, of course. Um, algo acerca de usted. Algo acerca de usted. Mm, algo que sea curioso acerca de usted. Algo que usted nos quiera contar, que nos quiera compartir. So, one fun fact about me is... Y luego lo dice. All right? So, let's start. Let's start. This will be for Milton, for Nelson, for Lisette, and for Jaime. I believe they are the only ones that didn't introduce themselves yesterday. If there is an, another one, let me know. I believe there's no other one. So let's let's go for it, Mr. Avelar. The stage is yours, okay? Yeah, thanks. Hello, everyone. Um, good evening. My name is Jaime Avelar. You can call me Jaime. I am not a chef. I am a Spanish teacher. Um, one fun fact about me is I I like to practice sport. Uh, um, my favorite is karate and. Sorry, teacher, how do you say ultimamente? Which one, I'm sorry? Uh, how, do you say, how do you say ultimamente? Lately. Okay, lately, lately? Um, mm -hmm. I practice the mountain bike and, and I work uh, in a um, Escuela Bilingua Martí de Lisboa. Yes, just that's it. Thank you a lot and nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Um, sorry. Okay, this is an activity, guys, that we are repeating right now, but they, this is for the pe for people that didn't introduce themselves yesterday. Remember, it is important to know everyone here. So that's why there are, this is just, this is an activity just for four people. All right, so thank you a lot, Jaime. Let's go, uh, choose the next person. It can be Milton, Lisette, or Nelson. Okay, uh, please, Milton. Milton, go for it, Milton. Thank you, Jaime. You're welcome. Hello, good night. Good night, Milton. Hello, my name is Milton. You can call me Milton. Okay. I am a seller. One fun fact about me is uh, I like to play football and beach it to beach. Okay. Okay, so thank you a lot, Milton. All right, let's go with Lisette, okay? Okay, uh, hi everyone, good evening. Uh, my name is Lisette. Del Carmen. Uh, you can call me Liz, and I am quality auditor. One fun fact about me is I like very much the Wally. Really? Okay. Okay, great. Nice to meet you, Lisa, and thank you very much for sharing. Okay, so let's go with Nelson. Let Nelson go for it. Introduce yourself, Nelson. Nelson. Is Nelson here? Nelson is not here, guys. Sorry, teacher. Oh, okay, you're here. Okay, go for it, Nelson. Um. I like to uh, eat a lot of chicken for lunch. Okay. I'm um, 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 like soccer. 
All right. And how do you like to be called, Jose or Nelson? Uh, Nelson. Nelson, okay. Nice to meet you, Nelson, and thank you for sharing that with us, okay? Okay, guys, so this is the end of this activity. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we will have another activity right now, and this is pretty much about the countables and uncountable. We'll go ahead and have a, just a review. Remember, the countable nouns are the ones that you can count, okay? Like door, our, boy, son, book, etc. All right? The ones that you can count. And the uncountable nouns, guys, uh, they are ones that are like general. Like those that you cannot count because it is too big, because it is abstract. Porque a veces lo, no lo, lo podemos ver, pero no lo podemos tocar. Like, for example, feelings, pensamientos, okay? Like, for example, hope, okay? This is something that we cannot touch. So that's why we cannot count it, all right? Um, por ejemplo, cosas que son de grandes proporciones, como blood, all right, blood. Y dijimos que, por ejemplo, blood, water, meal, and rice, lo podemos contar. Puede, podemos hacerlo countable una vez, guys, que nosotros utilicemos unidades de medida. Dijeron, I like this work. O containers, como por ejemplo, a bottle of water, ok, ahí sí podemos hacerlo countable. Since this is a review, we will have just this, porque este es un, un, nada más un review, este es un tema que lo vimos last cards. But guys, if you want to have more practice about this, tell me, yo les puedo mandar más práctica de esto con muchísimo gusto, alright? So, guys, we have an activity right now, alright? We have an activity and we got 10 words right now, 10 words. So your job is to tell me if they are, un if they are countable or uncountable nouns. Okay, we have leadership, we have result, we have computer, populations, population, sorry, street, unemployment, mug, mug is like a cup, cup, but it's bigger, okay? is bigger than the cup. Okay, for example, cup of coffee, cup of tea. So, mac of tea or mac or coffee is bigger. Okay, a cup is smaller and mac is bigger. Decision, singer, and oil. Unemployment is not to have, not to have um, like a job, all right? Unemployment, el desempleo, all right? And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and guess if they are countable or uncountable, okay? So you will tell me a number from one to, oh my God, from one to 26. That would be easy. Let me think about one number. Let me think about one number right now. And no, one second. Let me write down some, some numbers here, okay? Really quick. Let's see, we have one. <clears throat> I got another one. I get, oh my God, okay. Let's see. Then I have this. Then I have this. Then I have this. This. I'm uh, missing two. Okay, so give me a number from one to 26. Um, Luis, give me a number from one to 26. Two. No. <laughs> Sabrina, give me a number from one to 26. 15. 15, yes, 15, go for it. Go with the with the number one, okay? Leadership. And leadership is uncountable. Uncountable? Okay, what do you think, guys? Is uncountable, yes or no? 
Yes. Very it's good. Uncountable. It's uncountable, all right. Okay, let's see, let's continue. Um, Ileana, could you please tell me an activity from one to 26? Un número del uno al 26? It's them. Ten? No. <laughs> Very good. All right. What about Marielos? One number from one to twenty-six. Um, five. Five. Yes, you go, Marielos. I got the numbers here in my phone, okay? I got the numbers here. Okay, Marielos, could you please tell me if result is countable or uncountable? Result. Oh. Do you believe that you can count the results? That's yeah. tricky, right? It's tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, resultados. Resultados, sorry. That's the that oh, will be okay. in, in two, two. Uh -huh, number two. Um, um, Contable. Content, uh, okay, what do you think, guys? Contable. It is countable uh -huh. or uncountable? Countable? Countable. Countable, right? Contable. Very good, Marielos. Okay, let's see. Carla, could you please tell me a number from 1 to 26? Carla. Carla, are you there? Eight. Oh, you're thinking. Sorry. Eight. Seven. Yes. Seven. Okay. Carla, could you please help me with the number three? Oh, that's a difficult. Is that a, a countable or uncountable? Um, countable. Countable. Yes, guys, countable? Yes, it's yes. countable. Very good. Okay, let's see. Um, Nelson, could you please tell me a number from one to twenty-six? Nelson. Uh, number, 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 teacher, number. Uh -huh. A number. The lunar twenty-six. Uh, no, number, no, number, number four. No, thank you. Okay, Kenny, a number from one to twenty-six. Kenny, Kenny Lisa. Sorry, teacher. Could you please tell me a number from one to 26? Mm, number 10. Number 10, no, thank you. What about Lisa? Could you please tell me a number from one to 26? Teacher. Three. Number three? Yes, Lisa. Yes, sorry. Tell me, Nelson. No, no le respondí, teacher. No, no, no comprendí la, la, ¿cómo se llama? Question. Oh, ok. Que me dijera un número del 1 al 26. Y si es uno de los que yo tengo acá, me iba a ayudar a decir si la palabra es countable o uncountable. Pero no le ah, tocó. No me lo eh, adivinó. Ah, so don't worry. <laughs> So, said, what do you think? I know you was not in the class yesterday. You were not in the class, sorry. But don't worry, we will help you, okay? What about the number four, population? Like people, people, like population. Do you know the meaning of population? Uncountable. Okay, uh, um, Uncountable, Un right? Uncountable, population. Sure. Can you know what is the population no. in El Salvador? It's countable. Countable. Uh -huh. A lot of. I can say. They are a lot, right? They are a lot. Population. Very good. I mean, oh my God, the population. 
Yes. Very good, okay? Very good, Lisa. Okay, what about the number five street? Uh, Linda, give me a number from one to 26. Six. Six? Yeah. Six? Sí. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. You're the winner. <laughs> no. Uh, number six, unemployment. It's whenever you don't have um, a job. You don't have a job. Desempleo. Uncountable. Uncountable? Is that uncountable? No? Guys? Uncountable. Uncontable, right? Very good. Okay, Amilka, give me a number from 1 to 26. 20? No, thank you. Walter, could you please tell me a number from 1 to 26? 26. No. Marta, could you please tell me a number from 1 to 26? Marta? Marta, 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 hello, Marta, Livia. Julio, ah, no, Julio is driving, sorry. Uh, Estefania, could you please give me a number from 1 to 26? Guys, el número se repitió, me dicen, please. Estefania? Give me a number from 1 to 26, please. We can hear you. 20. 20? Uh, did you say that 20? Did, did you say 20 before, guys? No? Is it repeated? No, right? Jorge? Jorge, are you there? Jorge Antonio? Jorge? Thank you, Jorge. Could you please tell me a number from 1 to 26? Sorry, teacher. Um, integrando al grupo ahorita. Don't worry. Deme un número del 1 al 26 para ver si es un número de lo que tengo acá. Si lo adivina, usted es el winner de el número 7. <laughs> para que me diga si es countable o uncountable. Okay. 16. 16? 16. 16, ya lo dijeron, guys? No, right. Oh. Ok, 16. Ajá, no lo dijeron because I have it here. Yes, 16. You, you're right. Ok. So, Mag is uncountable or uncountable or uncountable? Jorge, Mag. Um, uncountable. Are you sure, Mac? It's like a cup of cup of coffee or cup of tea, but it's bigger than the cup. Than the cup. Es más grande que la. Ajá. Es más grande que la taza cup. Es más grande la grande de las tazones grandes con las que toman café. Es como una jarra, teacher. Como una jarra. No tanto así. Es que vaya hay unas hay unas que son tazas chiquitas. Esas son las cup. Cup of coffee. Pero el mac es grande, pero no es tan grande, no. En es mi casa normal. solo tenemos mac, entonces. <risa> Ajá, es que yo creo que todos estamos acostumbrados a mac. Yes. So, is countable or incountable, Jorge? Um, Can you count the max? Countable, right? Or incountable? Countable. Countable, very good, okay. Marcos, uh, give me a number from 1 to 26. Deme un número del 1 al 26. Number 8. No, it, it, they say already number 8. Another number. Teacher, la cámara. Ay, oh my God. <laughs> okay, sorry. Give me another number. Teacher, other number is uh, 12. 12, no. They say already 12, right? No? Other other number. Which one? Uh, 
Eleven. Eleven? Yes, Marcos, you're the winner of the number number eight. The 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 decision. Marcos, is countable or uncountable? Decision. Is countable. Countable? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very good, Jarixa. Number from one to twenty-six. Fourteen. No. <laughs> Lucia, a number from one to twenty-six, please. Lucia, did I, I already ask? Twenty-six. Perdón, tenía para. Ah, twenty-six. Ya lo dijeron. Sorry. Entonces, twenty-four. No. <laughs> Let me see. Ismael, a number from 1 to 26. Aha, Mabel is missing. Yes, Mark Ma is a cap. It's a cap, but it's bigger than a cap. It's más grande que la taza. ¿Dónde se toma café, Ismael? Uh, ah, sí, que eres la grande. Ajá, Ismael. Singer, ¿es countable o uncountable? Countable. Countable, very good. Ok, uh, what about Mabel? Mabel, could you please help us with the last one, Mabel? I know you want. You want to help us. Okay. Oil. Countable. Uncountable, great guys. Do you have questions about countable and uncountable nouns? Teacher, yes, I didn't hear decision. The the number eight. Is decision countable. is countable. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, you made one decision, two decisions, three decisions. Is countable. Okay. I I I didn't hear about the. The answer about the result. Result is countable. Countable. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Leadership is uncountable. Result is countable. Computer uh, countable. Population uncountable. Uh, and let me see. A street is countable. Employment is uncountable. Mac is countable. Decision countable. Singer countable. And oil is uncountable. Okay. Guys, questions about this? Everything clear? Okay. Go for it, Nelson. Yes, Nelson? Nelson, sorry, I didn't hear you. Nelson. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Creo teacher. que yo me quedé frozen, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, yes, sí, acá me apareció ya el, el, el mensaje que que si fue mi internet. I do apologize, Nelson. I didn't hear you. Could you please repeat it? The teacher, uh, um, number, number cinco, que es number... Ten? The last one? Ten, sí, es uh, oil uh, incontable. Uncountable, that's right, uncountable. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, I bring it. In the previously screen, I saw that was news. It, this it was one? countable. Yes, news uncountable. News is uncountable. Yes, news is uncountable. The newspaper, newspaper. What do you think is countable or uncountable? Un no, countable. 
Because this is news, right? Las noticias, all right? Las noticias. Recuerden que las noticias pueden ser written or it can be on the TV, right? So, so we don't say news? the news to news to news. No, 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 ajá. No, porque en español nosotros sí lo decimos así, no, las noticias, ¿verdad? La noticia uno, dos, no, porque es muy general, es muy amplio el concepto. Porque acuérdense que hay, pueden ser las noticias mediante radio, mediante TV, mediante la televisión, mediante eh, paper, ¿ok? Newspaper, eh, el diario, ¿ok? Right? Uh, so that's why it's too general, it's too... Um, es muy amplio para que nosotros digamos que es countable. Lo que sí es countable es que yo diga newspaper. Ok, este, este periódico, right? One new paper, two newspaper, etc. Ok. Thank you for asking, Sabrina. Thank you a lot, ok. Ok, guys, so. The, oh my God, the camera. Sorry. The. Um, Does everyone have the book, guys? Todos tienen el libro, todos están dentro del um, grupo de WhatsApp hasta el momento? Yes. Yes? Okay. So, guys, do me a favor and open the book. We'll Mister. start working on the book. Yes, Nelson? Uh, un nuevo grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Eh, pero no estoy ahí, creo. Really? You're not there? Okay. Let me get a second y le voy a mandar el link rapidito acá en el chat. Váyase al chat de esta reunión. Y le voy a mandar el link para que le dé clic y de una vez lo va a redireccionar al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. 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 I'm just looking to this, to the link. Where is it? Where is it? No puede mandar el libro ahí, teacher. Bueno, yo no lo tengo. Yes, ahorita. sí, se lo voy a mandar. Do not worry. Excellent. Vale, ahorita se lo voy a mandar al. No, 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 sorry. Acá al chat. Revisa el chat, Nelson, please. Ahí les mandé el link del WhatsApp, del grupo en WhatsApp. Me avisa cuando ya, le, ya haya, se haya um, unido al grupo. Guys, open the page 10. Ok, page 10. By the way, guys, there is and there are. There right. is, thank you. There is, is used for countable or uncountable? There is. Both? I don't remember. Both? Both? I have both. Yes, because I can say there is an apple on the table, right? And an apple is countable. And I can say there are some water in my bedroom. Okay? But there is, guys, remember, is, yes, is, whenever we're talking about uncountable, The only one that we can use is there is, but there is can be countable and uncountable. Sabrina, you're right. Puede ser countable and uncountable, pero si hablamos solamente de los no contables, el que utilizamos es there is, ¿ok? Para los uncountable. Y para los countable, guys, there is or there are? There are. Uncountable. Uh -huh. Sorry, uncountable. There, there is. There is, there is right? <coughs> okay. E countables? No, there, there is. is. There, is. There, is. there are. Okay, great. I just want to double check that. Okay, let's see. I will send you the book, Nelson, page 10. Uh, uh, send me book to chat, teacher. Yes, I will do it. Don't worry. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you, Julio. Sorry, no había visto el WhatsApp. Okay, ahorita. Entonces los mando, guys. Thank you. Oh. 
Guys, de verdad no está lloviendo ahí. En ningún lugar de donde están ustedes, en ningún lugar llovió. No. Sí, teacher, acá está lloviendo. Sí, no o sea, sí, yo me sentía excluida. Llovió por un poco. <risa> no, acá gran tormenta, en serio. Big Aquí storm. está lloviendo. ¿Todavía? Yes. Ah, oh, ok. Just, just in your house. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there is a cloud here. You're welcome. There is a cloud that is protecting my 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 house. It is because the hat. Ya ven, pues. Había calor y llovió en mi casa. No, no, no. Desde Santana está lloviendo. Porque yes. yo acabo de venir de un um, de un viaje. So, uh, desde allá estaba lloviendo. Apá, usted la anda siguiendo la Siguiendo, <laughs> yes. Ya ve. It's raining, raining very hard. Uh -huh, it was sí. raining cat and, uh -huh. cats and dogs, right? Okay, let me share the screen right away again. Okay, here I have it. So guys, let's work on the book number 10. Okay, book number 10. I know you already know about this, but this is a review as I said. Okay, so how much and how many, okay? Those WH or information questions are the ones that we use for asking, okay? Um, cuánto, okay, cuánto. That's the, 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 the meaning of this. How much, cuánto, how many, cuánto. How much is used for uncountable nouns? How much? El mash is used for, for uncountable. And many is used for countables, okay? Countable. Mash, uncountable, and many countable nouns, okay? No contables, contables, okay? So, for example, we say, how much does auxiliary, remember, la formula siempre de las WH question va a ser WH question plus auxiliary, okay, auxiliary verb plus verb. The verb here is the, the, the refrigerator. Weights, okay, how much does the refrigerator weight? Okay, and this is the verb. How does the refrigerator wait? Hmm. I don't want to say, you know, we are human, we can make mistakes, but I believe, what, do you believe there is an error here in this question, guys? Uh -huh. Ustedes que son expertos, guys. Oh my God, you are experts on this. Hay algún error en esta, en esta pregunta? The third person, the S, we don't have when the auxiliary is with that. Wow, Sabrina, <laughs> round of applause for you. <laughs> Good job. Yes, guys, I don't know why I will report this because this is a big, there is a, there is a mistake here. But as I said, I mean, we're human beings, of course, we're going to be making mistakes. We're not perfect, okay? So yes, guys. The S, it shouldn't be there, okay? Wait, decía yo así. No. Este es el verbo, right? This is the verb. So this is, first of all, WH questions, okay? Así va la fórmula. WH question, auxiliary verb. Verb, ¿de quién estamos hablando? The refrigerator. And wait is the verb, Okay. Pero como ya en las WH questions nosotros incluimos, guys, el does, aquí ya está con la S, ¿ok? Ya no lo vamos a poner acá en el verbo, por eso es que la S está de más, ¿all right? Very good, Serena, wow, you wow me, ¿ok? You wow me. Guys, you say you, say you wow me, you wow me, se fijan, wow, es como, un, como una frase de admiración, wow. Pero wow, a verb. Ajá, you can, you can use it as a verb. I mean, English is like that, guys. Ustedes pueden decir, you wow me, pero es informal. 
you wow me, ok, me sorprendiste, or you, su you surprised me, pero you wow me, wow, ok, very good, so, no, de hecho no, no, o sea, no me sorprende, Sabrina, porque hoy usted ya sabe, claro que si no me lo esperaba, ¿eh? así que, me lo esperaba, sorry, so, very good, so, how much does it cost, vaya, mira acá, ya no tiene la S, ¿eh? cost es el verbo, how much, wh, auxiliary, and it is a verb. Okay. So what is this, guys? I'm sorry. Excuse me. What is how much here? How is it called? Verb, subject, complement. What is it? How much? <gasps> guys, I already say it. Mm hmm I didn't understand the question. No, what is it? I mean, what is it? Is it a verb? Is it a noun? It is a subject? Um, the complement, auxiliary verb. WH question. WH question. Okay, what is this? Is? The auxiliary. The verb. The verb. Okay, and here? The complement. The complement. Thank you. Gracias por decir el auxiliar. Fíjense, guys. Acá hay dos diferentes tipos de WH. Este sale. Oh my God. Sorry. Esto ya. ya I, I, don't, I don't like it. Um, esto ya, no, ya se sale un poquito, ¿verdad? De la fórmula que nosotros normalmente utilizamos. ¿Ok? Pero sí si se utiliza. Sí si lo hacemos de esa manera. Why? Because we're talking about verb to be aquí. A ese es simple present y este es verb to be. Por ejemplo, cuando yo le digo, what is your name? ¿Ok? Entonces, el is acá, acuérdense que el is, ese verbo, el is, es el único que utilizamos en el verb to be. ¿Ok? He is a doctor. Is he a doctor? Ya no tenemos otro verbo. ¿Ok? Por eso es el verb to be. Entonces, es una WH con el verb to be. Por eso es que dice, how much is the warranty? ¿Ok? ¿Cuánto, cuánto cuesta eh, la garantía? ¿All right? ¿O cuánto, ¿Cuánto cuesta la garantía? ¿Cuánto, sorry, cuánto es la garantía? ¿All right? How much time is the warranty? How much does it, uh, does it storage? ¿Ok? How much does it storage? ¿Cuánto tiene de, de, de memoria? How much does it storage? ¿All right? So how much, guys, we use it for the ones that we cannot count? Los nombres que no son contables. How much did the, the refrigerator uh, weight? Okay, we're talking about money. Money is uncountable, okay? Si yo le digo how many, entonces tengo que decir how many dollars, okay? But it doesn't make sense. We better say how much is it, okay? How much is it? How much does it cost? How much is the warranty? How much does it, the, does it storage? ¿Ok? Porque la respuesta es incierta. No sabemos cuál va a ser la respuesta. ¿Ok? No tenemos una idea de cuánto va a ser. Por eso lo ocupamos con how much. Porque la respuesta no es contable. No la sabemos. En cambio, en how many. Look at this. How many. How many features. Okay, features does it have? How many features does it have? My phone. I mean, how many features that does my phone have? All right, how many features? This can be countable. The features can be countable. Okay. For example, I can talk about my camera. I can talk about my camera. Sorry. What is feature? Features, are they the, the characteristics that you have on the phone? The benefits, characteristics that you have on the phone or an object, on the TV, on the mouse, on the camera, characteristics, all right? Mm -hmm. So how many features does, does it have? Okay, oh, the camera is good. It, it has a good quality, the memory, okay? The screen. Those are the features. How many colors is this in? Okay. 
How many colors is this in? ¿En qué colores está? Okay. ¿En qué colores está? How many colors is this in? Oh, I have black, black, okay, black oh, cell phones black. here. I have blue ones, I have pink ones. This is the only three colors available. Okay? Oh. This will be the answer. So you can count the colors. How many functions does it have? Functions. How many functions does it have? How many products do you want? So those are countable guys. That's why we use many, okay? Um, let's see. Questions so far about how much and how many guys? Questions so far? We have more examples here. We have more examples so we can understand it a little bit. Okay, do not worry. We got some examples that we will resolve it right now. Lo vamos a discutir ahorita. So, complete the following questions using how much or how many. Tenemos from one to six. From one to six. Let me get a second. I can hear someone in the background sound, so I don't know. But in English, right? I heard something in English. Okay, so from one to six, uh, we get the one, for example, the one. How many or how much? How, ma how many or how much pieces do, you, do I need to assemble this, okay? Pieces to assemble, for example, a computer, let's say. So what do you think? How much or how many here in the number one, guys? How many? How many? How many, very good, how many? Because you can count the pieces, right? One clue that I can give you guys is que siempre revisen cuál es el nombre que sigue después. ¿Cuál, cuál es el, el subject, ok, o el nombre que le sigue, y vean si eso es contable o uncountable, y depende de eso va a ser how many or, or how much, how much, ok, sorry. What about the number two, how much or how many do these books cost? How much? How much? How much, how much? How much do these books cost? Teacher, pero es que usted me acaba de decir que vea el nombre y yo lo estoy viendo teacher y yo veo que books es countable pero entonces le pongo many o le pongo much how many ah pero es que me acuerdo de que la teacher me preguntó la teacher me sorry la teacher me dijo de que cuando hablemos de dinero yo siempre diga much así que es how much ah, how much ajá Así que sí es un tip ver el nombre que sigue, pero cuando hablemos de dinero, ¿verdad? Es how much. Cuando hablemos de dinero o de tiempo, por ejemplo, dinero o tiempo es how much, ¿ok? How much do these books cost? Number three will help me to read. Me lo va a ayudar a leer Mr. Abelard. Help me with the number three to read it. Léalo, please. How much is the battery life of this computer? How much is the battery life of this computer? Very good. So, guys, analizamos. Let's analyze this. Teacher, but I can count battery y también computer. ¿Por qué voy a utilizar el much? Why, guys? Uh, because life is... Ajá. Uh -huh. We're talking about... Time or money? About time. About time. So here it doesn't apply the tip que la teacher me dio, me dio no, no aplica. So acá es how much or how many? How much. How much. Okay, very good. So how much is the battery life of this computer? Very good. Lisette, Lisette. Okay, Lisette, you will help me with the number four. Could you please help me to read it? Okay. How much hours do sorry I charge do I charge it right charge it all right so how much how right much. why how much because it's for time oh 
it's for time, okay? And, but, aha, uh -huh, time. That's what I like, that's what I love English, guys, because it's, sometimes it's confusing. <laughs> sometimes it's confusing. So, you got a great idea, Lizette, y, y créame que es el momento, yo creo que muchos, hasta yo lo dijera, ok, es que horas, estamos hablando de tiempo. Pero, guys, cuando ya nosotros nos vamos, se va, se va especificando más. O sea, nos vamos de lo, de lo general a lo específico, ¿verdad? Cuando ya se va limitando, en este caso estamos limitando el tiempo a las horas. Can you count the hours? Can you count the minutes? Yes. Okay. Aunque estamos hablando de tiempo, ok. Yes, el tiempo ya sabemos. Pero como lo está especificando horas exactamente, por eso, Lizeth, se ocupa how many acá. ¿Sí? Si no dijera hours, si no dijera hours acá, si, digamos de que hours no lo dice, ok. Le vamos a quitar hours. Si dijera, do I charge it? Solo do I charge it? Sin tener una idea de horas ni minutos. Entonces ahí sí decimos, how much do I charge it? ¿Sí? How much do I charge it? Pero como está especificando hours, si dijera minutos también, o segundos, ya vamos especificando. Entonces es como el ejemplo de, del money, ¿verdad? Del dinero. Si nosotros ya le digo a usted, Lizette, ¿cuántos dólares? Lo cual es raro, pero ¿qué tal si algún día, verdad? Ven esa pregunta. ¿Cuántos dólares vale su camiseta? El dólar ya se puede contar. Entonces, ya ahí sí ocupamos el how many dollars, ¿verdad? How many dollars, how many quarters, ¿ok? Does it, does it cost? Pero si no tenemos especificación de qué, entonces ahí sí, ni modo, decimos how much does it cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta en general? Entonces, guys, remember, very good, Lizette, ¿ok? Ok, so, ¿sería how much or how many? How many? How, how many? many? Very how good. Charge Very good. How many hours do I charge it? Very good. Good job. All right, what about the number five? Number five, I would like... How much much Carla, Carla. Uh -huh. Sorry, who say that? Participate, guys. How much or how, how many? How much money do you have or how many money do you have? How much? How, how much? Many do you have? Good job. How much? Okay. How much? Good job. Okay. So, acuérdense, money and money and time. Si acá, por ejemplo, dice money, is how much. Y si era how much time do you need? Guys, how much time do you need for making this exercise? ¿Verdad? Ahí sí está bueno porque igual estamos hablando de time. How much time? So how much time? El time is uncountable. <clears throat> so what about the number six, Carla, or anyone that can help me with number six? How much or how many gallons of water does it does this need? How many? How many, right? Uh -huh. Si no tuviera que loans, how, should I use how many or how much? Si dijera how, solo sería water. Si solo tendría water aquí, how much or how many? How much? How much, how much right? Because we don't have an idea. Y ahora sí tenemos una unidad de medición que son los galones, right? So how many gallons of water do, does it need? Okay? So guys, review it. Let's review it. Okay, let's review it and tell me. If you don't understand something, tell me now, teacher, pero que I don't understand it. Tell me, guys. Is that understandable? Mm -hmm. No, yes. The question, Maybe. teacher. Maybe later, teacher. Uh huh. yes. Oh, yes, uh, that's not. Si, si está un poquito claro, yo creo que, guys, lo más recomendable sería ver la clase del día de ayer. Aunque hicimos una introducción nada más de los countable or uncountable, pero Nelson, si no, tell me. 
questions, eh, doubts about this? Eh, eh, un poco, eh, quizás, eh, para que me quede más clarito, creo que sí, me está quedando claro, pero um, voy y a la pupusería y digo, how, how many five pupusas? How many pupusas? How many pupusas? Um, ah, no. Do you want? How many, how many four or five pupusas? Pido un número específico. Para ah, que se, para... Ajá, muy, muy, muy buena pregunta. Acuérdese que la pregunta usted la hace para saber la respuesta. O sea, en la pregunta usted no dice la respuesta. O sea, usted tiene que decir, exactly. how many pupusas do you want? Or how many pupusas do I, do I get? Or how many pupusas do I buy? ¿Sí? Y la respuesta va, va a ser... Oh, I would like to have five pupusas, etc. La respuesta, the answer. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, porque podría ser how many much uh, pupusas. Uh, oh, how, how many? many? How many? How many how porque many? you can count the pupusas. Ok, ok, mm -hmm. teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Si decimos Nelson cheese, el queso cheese, I mm -hmm. said how much or how many? Eh, El queso en general. Much. Much. Very good. Okay, much. guys, questions about these? Questions? Yeah. Por yeah. ejemplo, um, siguiendo con, con, con el comentario de Nelson, si preguntamos el costo, ella sería, how much does the pupusas cost? Very good. How much the pupusas cost? How much uh, do the pupusas? Do the pupusas? Because do. it's in plural. Do the pupusas uh -huh, cost? Uh, do. Okay. Okay. do the pupusas cost? If not, if you are, if you're buying one pupusa, then you say how much does the pupusa cost? All right. One pupusa. Mm -hmm. Because it's third person. Das. All right. Questions? Jorge, questions? Good? Yes? Okay. Liana, good? Good teacher. Okay, great. Okay, guys, so let me go through the attendance list. Ven, si se fijan, así pasa la hora, guys. Así. All right. Así. So let's do it. Walter, are you okay? Yes. Mabel. Good. Kenny. You have questions? Let me know, guys. Okay, so um, let's see. Lizette del Carmen Hernandez. Miss, Miss Smith. No. Yes. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Zulma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Lucía Azucena Chicas de Claro. Present. Very good. Guys, let me, let me do something here really quick. Le voy a compartir pantalla. Let me share the screen. And let's start reading this. Vamos a empezar a leer este, esta conversation. Mientras estoy pasando la lista, let's start reading this conversation, ¿ok? Tratemos de leerla y comprenderla. And later on, we will practice together, ¿ok? One second. Okay. Um, Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutierrez. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Present teacher. Sorry. Okay. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Marta Lidia Godínez. Mar Present. Thank you, Marta. Ok, Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Presentación. Thank you, Marielos. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Presentación. 
Marcos, where are you? Okay, uh, Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present teacher. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present. Okay, mm -hmm. great guys. Sorry that I stopped sharing. Teacher. So, yes? Teacher. Teacher. I am yes. here. No, no, no me pasó lista en las dos, ni al inicio ni ahorita. Milton. Yes. Hmm. Bien, en la primera sí le pasé, Milton. No, no. Sí. Pero, ok, sorry. Me parece, Milton. Milton. Teacher, I am here. Ay, Marcos. De verdad, Milton, yeah. tiene razón, fíjese. That's weird. Give me a second. There's something wrong here. Sí, sorry, Milton. La verdad es que sí es cierto, a la primera no, se, no le pasé. Y la verdad, no, I don't know what is going on. Ajá, ni la segunda. Give me a second, Milton. Marcos, ayúdeme, please, a ponerle todo su nombre. Porque está como P9+. Plus. Te enojada la teacher, Mr. Milton, porque no venimos ayer. Ajá, sí. Yes, Milton Hernández Sola. No, Yo qué raro, que Milton. Ahora. Wow. Se me olvidó ayer. Milton. Ahorita lo reporto. Fíjese que ayer, bien raro, Milton. Yo lo, lo mencioné, pero no, no lo encuentro en la lista. Es que creo que aquí lo han movido. No a usted, ha movido la lista porque está me bien sacaron. raro. No, incluso la, el attendance list que yo pasé ayer no me aparecieron los últimos. Y veo un cambio en, lo, en el numeraje acá. Está algo mal. Aquí lo voy a reportar ahorita. Milton. Gracias, Milton, por estar pendiente. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó en la segunda. ¿Hola? A mí no me mencionó en la segunda. Teacher, I, I have a problem with, with electrician in my place. It's raining strong. Uh, the internet is... Ahora, is now strong. it's raining, uh -huh. Marcos. Previously, previously, I asked you and you say, no, here is hot, you said. <laughs> no, Marcos, it's okay, don't worry. Ayúdeme nada más a ponerle todo su nombre, please, okay? Okay, okay? Y si lo mencioné, pero ahora dígame presente, lo voy a poner. <laughs> Pre present, teacher. Thank you, okay. thank you. <laughs> Ok, Don Marcos. Sí, hasta dije, Marcos, Marcos, dije. Sí, teacher, es que estaba pagando todos los electrodomésticos porque estaba, se iba, se venía, se, sí. Pero Marcos, ayúdame con su nombre. Ok, ok. Thank you. Gracias, okay. thank you. Ok, so guys, uh, let's, let's go ahead and practice this, this conversation, ok? 
I want to hear you guys. I want to hear you. But first, let's listen and repeat, okay? Because this is the time that we practice the pronunciation and the speaking skill. So please, everyone turn on the microphone and let's repeat it because guys, this is the only time that we practice, okay? Todos guys, practiquemos. Esa es la única forma que nosotros practicamos. So let's repeat, okay? Let's repeat. Try to imitate imitate the pronunciation that I will make, okay? Yo no les digo su pronunciación va a ser igual que el mío, claro que no hay diferentes tipos de, de, de pronunciaciones, eh, los acentos son bien diferentes, ustedes no van a pronunciarlo igual que yo, pero al menos al principio cuando uno está learning, cuando uno está aprendiendo, traten de imitarlo, okay? Siempre que la pronunciación sea buena. Mine is not a hundred percent perfect. Okay, I'm not a native speaker. I wish that I can speak like that. Pero al menos traten de imitarlo un poquito. Nada más porque están aprendiendo. Ya después ustedes mismos van a personalizar su pronunciation, your speaking. Pero ahorita traten de imitarlo. Aunque ustedes digan, yo escucho a la teacher como muy fresa, como que mucho, ¿verdad? Lo, lo, lo 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 exagera pero guys this is the way of learning at the beginning this is a this is the way of learning okay traten de, de, de exagerar cuando estén hablando porque después ustedes ya con fluidez naturalmente lo van a hacer ¿Ah? that's another tip ese es otro tip que les doy les va a ayudar muchísimo Traten de abrir mucho la boca, ok, de abrirla mucho y de hablar súper fuerte para que su pronunciación se vaya eh, desarrollando, all right? So, uh, whenever I speak, I also say, or whenever we're practicing pronunciation, I also ask you to see my mouth, ok, the movement, porque créanme, guys, los sonidos en inglés, de verdad, mucho tienen que ver de la manera como ustedes mueven la boca. Sus labios, sus dientes, su lengua, su paladar, todo. Su forma como lo está haciendo, si lo hace así, si lo hace así, ok, todo tiene que ver. O sea, si ustedes quieren aprender, siempre vean en la boca a alguien. ¿Cómo lo está haciendo? Si la abre mucho, si es así, si la, no la abre mucho. That's the way of learning. Y para los que están acá, new with me, les voy a pasar un video ahora, ¿ok? De los sonidos de inglés. Guys. Y lo, lo practiquen los sonidos. This is super awesome, ¿ok? Al principio se va a decir, ay, no me confundí más, porque a veces sí confunde más, pero guys, eso les va a ayudar mucho en su pronunciation, ¿ok? Se los voy a pasar ese video, súper. Ay, los demás ya se los pasé a los que estaban antes conmigo, pero ahí van a ver ustedes que la boca tiene mucho que ver, la manera como articulamos la boca. All right? So, let's go ahead and, 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 and uh, listen and repeat after me. Let's practice, okay? This is a conversation between Aaron and Sam, okay? Uh, so, they are talking about switching, okay? Switching roles. Están cambiando de roles. No, no, no. All right. Okay, the new, let's start. One, two, three, start. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material just arrived in the morning. Arrived. 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 The, the, the there you go. Arrived. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Store. 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 Everything. 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 Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does the houses have to store the boxes? One more time, guys, que se escuche como pregunta, okay? Where does he have to store the boxes? 
He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Ivan, that's in English, all right? Ivan, 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 can Ivan hold? <laughs> have, have, have. Uh, uh, have. También, guys, lo que yo siempre les digo. Unan los sonidos. Join the sounds. Okay? For example, store them. Store them. Repeat. Store them. Store them. Store them. Store them. Store them. Store them. Very good. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? Can they use the leaf? Elevator, okay? Leaf is elevator. Um, they have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. They, 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 they have, have, they have, have to be alive, the life is uh, in the secretary, the secretary, the leave, 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 okay, very good, she's going to say they can use it. She's, She's going, going to say, say they can use it. 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 Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Um, I am Very good, guys. Okay, so we will practice right now this conversation. I will go ahead and make some breaker rooms. Once we practice, guys, traten de, 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 de practice the pronunciation. Y basado en lo, la pronunciación que ustedes acaban de escuchar, traten de corregir a, a, la, a la persona que está con usted. Si usted escucha, por ejemplo, ah, dijo life, ah, leave, dígale. Oh, just an observation, por ejemplo, diga, Marta, just an observation, remember to say life, sorry, no, <laughs> remember to say leave en vez de life, ok? And, and instead of saying boxes, Say boxes, boxes, okay, boxes. Um, so let's repeat some words after me, guys. Let's repeat some words. One second. Uh, material. 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 Arrived. 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 At the end, because it's in past. Acuérdense de esa pronunciation, arrived. 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 Store. 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 If you listen your partner to say a store, no, it's store. Store. All right. Store. Every, okay, it's not everything. No, everything. 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 Store them. Store them. Store them. Warehouse. 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 Lift. Lift. Bad. 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 Secretary. 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 First. 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 First.
Very good. Questions about pronunciation, guys? Questions? No? No questions? Re, re, repeat, teacher, repeat, teacher, ever, everything. Yes, everything. 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 There you go. Everything. Very good. Very good. Good job. So, fijan, that's a big difference, guys. Es que pronunciation, saber lo básico de la pronunciación está bonito because then, whenever you talk, se escucha bien bonito. Very, very it's beautiful whenever so, someone hear you. Okay. Store, teacher, steward. Store. Empiece con la... Okay. Store. 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 Store or two? Sto no, store. Con la O. Store. 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 Very good. So, how many are we? Store everything. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm making the breaker rooms right now. Los voy a pasar a los breaker rooms. Guys, les va a parecer una invitación, okay? En la invitación deben aceptar unir y ya con esa invitación usted se va a ir a un break room con su pareja. Lo vamos a hacer de manera random, ¿ok? Y vamos a practicar la conversación for five minutes only. Solo five minutes, ¿ok? Five minutes. Entonces, dos minutos y medio usted va a escuchar a la persona y va a anotar las palabritas. Mm. Ok, la otra persona. Ah, solamente this, this, and this words. Ok, y usted va a ser el teacher. Ok, los dos van a ser teachers acá. De esa manera, we will practice. Ok, so let's practice the conversation one. Primero practiquen los dos. Y luego ustedes van escuchando y van anotando. Ok, here I have some words, le dice, se la dice, and you come back. All right? Is that understandable? Yeah. Le voy a mandar el, la conversation yes, al WhatsApp. En caso que la necesiten, ahí y I send it to you. So let me create the break rooms. Let me see if you're in pairs. Everyone is is in pairs right now. Yes. Let's see. Okay, guys, click on join. Ahí les mandé una invitación. Click on join. La han invitado para break room tal. Entonces, dale join o dale aceptar. Y let's practice, ok? Let's practice, guys. Let's practice, let's practice, guys. Julio, could you please click on join? Julio, no sé si ya está ahí. Tengo... <laughs> ese o ese. Oh my God. Let's see, it's with Eliana. So Eliana, let me place it with number four. Just arrived in the in the morning. Tell Max, hello, teacher. <laughs> ah, continue. Okay. Tell Max that the that he has to store everything. Where does he he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. 
Hello, Ileana. Sorry, but Julio was with you. Julio estaba con usted, pero no sé qué pasó con Julio. Ok, gracias a Dios vino nuestro Salvador Marcos y Marcos sí nos va a ayudar. Marcos está sin luz todavía. Eh, teacher, estoy peleando porque se va y se viene la energía. Ay, eh, ahorita que tiene energía, Marcos, ayúdeme a practicar la conversación que mandé al WhatsApp con Ilian. Ok, ok. Please. Ver, no me la deje sola, oye. Ok, no. Pero... No me la deje sola y no ande pagando las luces porque nos da miedo. <risa> no, Ileana, no, si, si, si se porta mal me dice, oye. <risa> ok. No, I'm kidding. Marcos is super good, ok. Yeah. Ok, so. Acuérdense, guys, de, de si, if you listen any mispronunciation, díganse, díganse, no Marcos. It's not like that, it's store Marcos store. <laughs> okay so let's practice yeah. guys thank you okay no y si ya está en el en el grupo ya está en el break room Marcos <laughs> pero no lo escuchamos mucho Marcos sube el volumen volume volume up ya topó. No me va a dejar sorda a Iliana. Okay. ¿Va que no lo escuchamos, Iliana? We can hear you. Bien suave. Bien suave, Marco. Okay. Grite. Ok. I'll be back, ok? I'll be back, guys. Thank you. Ok. No, 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 can tell you should leave? They have to use the leave, but ask and tell the secretary first. They have to do. It's correct? It's correct. Okay. Um, volvamos a hacer. <laughs> practicing. Okay, the new material is arrived in the morning. Del Max. <laughs> Exacto. Okay. Igual. La... Eh, el bat me cuesta. But, el bat. But. Ajá, bat. Bat. Ajá. Sí, porque me explicaron que se decía bot. Ajá, bot, el bat. Hay bastante material. En... <laughs> okay. okay. I really good. Um, just in the. Um, when you say Ivan, el nuevo material acaba de llegar en la mañana. Dime a Mike. They have to use the leave, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Mac. Hello. 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 Did you finish? Yes. yes, we are finished. Wow. Okay. Let's see uh, uh, if the other ones finished already. Sorry, Marielos. Ah, no, que me corrigió unas cuantas palabras ahí. Because it's his teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Maria, lost to him? Did you correct him? Uh, ¿Lo corrigió usted? No, <laughs> no. Lo sentí. Sentí que sí, que estaba bien. Sí. Me sintió enojado, pero no me dijo nada. Es bravo, es eh, enojado. <risa> no, mentira, es que es so, so 
so so glad to be here. <laughs> he's he's so happy. <laughs> a veces anda cansado es que ya está en, en presenciales, Cristian. No. No is virtual and online. Eh, presencial and virtual, but in in this month is a lot of freedom. <laughs> Maybe 19% is in the school. Ah, ok. Bueno, ya casi nos regresamos. Deme un minuto nada más y voy a visitar a dos más. Es muy fin, ¿ok? Porque ahora somos más ni tiempo me da bien a todos. Thank you, guys. I'll be back. Usen. Eso, que usen el elevador. Ah, ok. Ay, sí, que ya sé de qué estamos hablando. Qué barbaridad. Voy a hacer Aaron ahora. Okay. Uh, the new material just arrived in. Yo creo que eso nos quedó. Nada más que todo la pronunciación de algunas palabras. Teacher. Uy, qué rápido yeah. lo sacó. Siempre le da más tiempo para entrar. No, oh, teacher, estábamos en la mejor plática ahorita con Luis. In English. In <laughs> yes. English, Spanish. Spanish. Pan English. Teacher Mix. Pan English. 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 No, ya extrañaba a, a, a Cristian que hablar. Mi lengua es panadero, vamos. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que lo ha regañado, por eso está ahorita está hablando. Ah, verdad. Ah, ah, ay, verdad, ay, yo, yo como ha, que hacía viste. falta también ayer. Ayer se perdió. Ayer. Sí. Los dos están. Se lo puso a lavar ropa. Sí. Yes, I was the, the clothes. <laughs> We are proud of you, okay, Mr. Avelan. Proud of you, okay. Estamos orgullosos de usted. <laughs> Ayer Sabrina, por, por eso estaba llorar. triste. No. <laughs> Sabrina estaba bien bored. Te dije, no, was bored te dije, pelear, dije yo. No, sí. no Sabrina, ya me. It was bored. Ayer estaba aburrida <laughs> y con, no tengo con quién pelear. Oh es my que God. Extraña <laughs> los puntos de pantalla que pone. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Oye, Abela, oye. your background. Okay, wait. Okay, let's. Hey, hey, este, Mr. Jaime, hoy va a poner un, un fondo de pantalla que está en, en Ucrania o en Rusia. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> en Rusia. I know. R Russia, right? Okay, Bye. guys, so what do you think about the conversation? Oh, El Salvador, okay. <laughs> what do you think about the conversation, guys? Was it easy to practice the conversation? Yeah. Easy? Yeah? So, yes, yes. Did you yeah. correct your partner? Did you correct it? Oh, le dio pena. Le dio pena decirle. Uh, Todo no, está le bien, le dio. Le tiramos a matar, le tiramos. <laughs> okay. Very good, as you we said. Shot to, we shot to, to, to kill. To kill. <laughs> oh, yes. my God. Okay. Any pronunciation you learn? Pronoun a new pronunciation mm. you learn, guys? Yes? Did you learn new pronunciation? Warehouse. What is warehouse? I don't remember what is warehouse. It's like bodega. Depósito, almacén. Wow, very good. Sí, Teacher, tengo que leccionar. Very good. No, use the dictionary, guys. This is your tool, okay? Es su herramienta. Use it. Very good, okay? No es malo. Let's use it. Okay? So, guys, um, uy, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't tell you to answer those questions. 
So we will do it together, okay? Vamos a hacer together. La, the the, the um, answers, the questions. Well, no, the, the answers, because choose, it's choose the correct answer, but it's easy. So number one, Sabrina, could you please help me to read number one? Then Christian. And then Jonathan. And Max and Ivan have two store boxes. Have two, right? Have two. Very good. Okay. Hi, man. And I, I'm sorry, Hello. Christian. Es que ustedes como que <sighs> brothers. Christian, sorry. And number two. Yes. Sorry. One second. Mm -hmm. Aaron doesn't have to help store the boxes. Doesn't have or has to? Has to. Aaron has to help store the boxes. According to the reading, guys, what do you think? Let me check the reading. Uh -huh. Here you have the reading. He doesn't have. He doesn't, right? Yeah. Who has to do it? Who, guys? Who? Yeah. Who has to store the boxes according to the reading? Who? Quien? Max. Max. Okay. Sorry, Christian, but I just wanted to confuse yourself, okay? <laughs> so it doesn't have, okay? Doesn't have to. All right. Uh, Sam doesn't have to. Sorry. Number three. Jonathan. <laughs> Hello. Could you please help me with the number three? She and Ivan have to start them in the warehouse. No, the number three, sorry, here, this one. Which one? This one. Could you please read it and choose the best answer? Or we can help. Sam doesn't have or doesn't has to help? Ah, the, the answer. Uh, I think that uh, is have two because there are two person in the conversation. I think, but the I, number I don't three. Know. The number, three, number three, right? Uh -huh. yeah. But we're talking about Sam. Sam? It doesn't have to or it doesn't has to help. The 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 read has say to. he and Ivan. I, I think it have to, but uh, if we are talking about uh has. some uh -huh. maybe has to. Uh -huh, but we're talking in the reading about two, right? Ivan and Sam. So that's why it's in negative. O sea, ellos no tienen que ayudar. So it doesn't have... In este caso, Jonathan, because we already have here doesn't, el doesn't ya tiene el AS acá, de la tercera persona. Por eso en el, el verbo eh, main verb ya no se pone con, con el has. Sino que se pone el normal, que es el have, ¿sí? Si, por okay. ejemplo, dijéramos Sam has, si lo hacemos positivo, Sam has to help, ahí sí ponemos el has porque hablamos de tercera persona y no le hemos agregado la S, ¿verdad? Acuérdense de la regla de la, de la, del simple present a los verbos en tercera persona, se le agrega la S, pero hay uno que son muy diferentes, no es que solamente le vamos a poner la S, por ejemplo have se convierte en has en tercera persona go por ejemplo se convierte en goes entonces como ya el doesn't ya lleva incluido en el das acá la S por eso es de que ya no se vuelve a poner en el, en el main verb sino que acá lo dejamos normal, have ¿Sí? Entonces por eso lo ponemos como Sam. La respuesta correcta al final sería Sam doesn't have to help. 
ok ya vamos a ver la estructura don't worry porque I haven't explained that this to you ok but thank you Jonathan ok ok Jessica could you please help me to read the number four the secretary have to or has to say that they can use the lift so is have to or has to uh, has to has to very good because we're talking about third person right secretary very good okay guys so as you can see based on the reading guys oh sorry questions about these questions guys no no, okay, so guys, what is the structure that we are uh, reviewing right now? The structure is have to, okay? And the have to is used for obligation, okay? Obligations. El have is como in Spanish, whenever you say usted tiene que hacer algo. Usted tiene que ir al super. You have to go to the supermarket, okay? Usted tiene que comer. You have to eat, okay? So have es tener que hacer algo por obligación, all right? Es una de las formas, so es have for obligations. Por eso en el, en el reading, eh, sorry, on the conversation, guys, acá como obligación dice que Max have to has to store the boxes okay entonces de eso se trata el have for obligations the court the previous course we were talking about have pero lo estábamos hablando guys como posesión porque el have también lo podemos utilizar como posesión i have a cell phone yo tengo un teléfono okay um i have three computers All right, posesión, pero también depende del contexto, usted lo va a ocupar como obligation. Y como dice, how do I know if it is for obligation or if it is for possession? Easy, guys, easy. ¿Cómo lo vamos a saber? Easy. Siempre va a haber otro verbo siguiéndole, ¿ok? Ahí usted, usted se va a dar cuenta que es por obligación. Siempre va a haber otro verbo que es el main verb. El main verb es el que sigue, porque es el que le da contexto a todo. I have to, yo tengo que ordenar, or store this package, ok? Packages, sorry. I have to, what is the main verb? Take, ok? We have to ask. Uh, the driver has to bring. He has to use. Entonces, estos verbos van a ir, van a ir en forma infinitiva, guys. Okay? Siempre van a llevar el infinitivo to en la mitad. I have to drink. I have to walk. I have to work. I have to wake up. I have to read. I have to write. I have to be, etc. Siempre tiene que ir el to. Porque siempre le sigue el infinitivo al have. Y cuando apliquemos the third person singular, se lo apliquemos a la primer verb. Okay? Siempre le vamos a aplicar al have. El segundo ya queda en la main form, o en la normal form, en la base form, base forma. Acá, si por ejemplo yo hablo de que he, he has to use the leaf. Acá ya no le voy a poner la S al use. ¿Por qué? Because I have it here in hand. Ya lo tengo en el has. ¿Ok? Porque ya lo conjugué de acuerdo a la persona que es. Por eso es que ya no lo voy a poner la S acá. ¿All right? Is that understandable, guys? Guys? Affirmative is understandable? Yes, it's sure. Obligations, remember, obligations. So, in negative sentences, guys, se va a manejar como un simple present, como un verbo de simple present. Por eso ocupamos el don y el doesn't, ¿ok? Ahora bien, si usted se fija, acá ya va a tener otro verbo, miren. Acá hay tres verbos. Tenemos el auxiliary don, 
ese auxiliar a mí me ayuda a hacer la oración negativa. Y tenemos el auxiliar doesn't. Ok, me ayuda a hacer la oración negativa también. All right. So, I don't have, seguimos con el have y luego con el infinitivo. Ok, I don't have to store these packages. No tengo que ordenar. Yo no tengo que ordenar estos paquetes. I don't have to. I don't have to. Guys, repeat after me. I don't have to. <coughs> I don't have to. Esta es una frase que ocupamos like in your daily basis. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. We're joining the sounds. Estamos uniendo los sonidos. I don't have to. Okay? I don't have to. I don't okay. have to. Mm -hmm. Yo no tengo por qué hacer eso, right? Yo no tengo por qué. Uh, no tengo que, sorry. No tengo que eh, hacerlo el verbo que sigue. So, I don't have to store these packages. Uh, they don't have to take everything to the warehouse. We don't have to ask for permission. You don't have to ask for permission. Uh, the truck driver doesn't has to bring the material. O sea, esto no es obligación. ¿Ok? No es obligación. Esto sí es obligación y esto no es obligación. He doesn't has. He doesn't has to use the lift. Miren, look at this. Is this, is this, a, is this correct, guys? He doesn't has to use the lift? No. That's weird que estén los dos, guys. The truck yes, driver has. doesn't has to bring the material. Mm -hmm. Voy a reportar eso también, because it's not right. Shouldn't be like that. Aquí tendría que ser have, okay? Have. Tiene que ser have acá. Have. Be careful with this, okay? Well, be careful to me. Okay, porque eso aquí tendría que ser have. ¿Ok? No tenemos que poner otra vez el has, porque ya está acá en doesn't. ¿Ok? Aquí ya está en doesn't. So, he doesn't have to use the lead. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. ¿Ok? Right? So, very good, guys. Siempre, guys, es muy importante que cuando usted, y eso se trata de eh, saber las bases del inglés, porque usted en internet, incluso si usted se va, Usted puede encontrar un error ahí. O a alguien se lo ve a usted. Oh, ahí hay un error, dice usted. ¿Por qué? Because we are not perfect. So, that's why. So, be careful with that. Is have, ¿ok? Doesn't have. ¿Por qué? Porque acá ya está third person. Ya no se pone has. ¿Ok? Teacher, y en la primera, en las primeras, que es don't, no es por el sujeto que se está usando el auxiliar correspondiente. Exacto, sí, siempre. Siempre acá. ¿Y ¿Por qué en he es incorrecto, doesn't? No, sorry. El que es incorrecto acá, Kenny, es el has. El has es el incorrecto. El doesn't está súper good. Ajá. El que es incorrecto acá, como esta es tercera persona, third person, ¿ok? El doesn't está súper good. Si aquí dijera uh -huh. don't, Ahí se está mal, porque es tercera persona. Have nunca cambia, solo el auxiliar. Exacto. Donde okay. va a cambiar va a ser en la forma afirmativa. Que... Afirmativa. Ajá, okay. porque ahí el auxiliar no tenemos auxiliar, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, incluso para las preguntas, ¿ok? Ahí, y preguntas y negativas, quien va a cambiar es el auxiliar, ¿Ok? Porque él es el que nos está ayudando a poner interrogativa la oración o negativa, el auxiliary verb. Entonces el main verb no cambia. Ahí no tenemos que cambiar. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Questions about these guys? Ask questions, guys. As many as you can. Eso es muy importante. Uh -huh. No questions? No question. Okay, let's see. Just allow me one second.
Okay, there are missing five minutes here, so let's see. Mientras paso la lista, guys, please help me out to complete the following sentences, okay? Háganlas ustedes, pongan number one, number two, number three, y las van haciendo. Si no terminan, don't worry, we, we continue tomorrow, okay? So let's try to do this. The exercise number five. Lo vamos a hacer individualmente. Pásenme la respuesta, sorry, I don't know what am I doing. Pásenme la respuesta, guys, al WhatsApp, okay? If you don't finish, do not worry, okay? Si no, no terminó, no se preocupe. Tomorrow we continue with this, all right? We will continue tomorrow. So let me get a second and I will send it to you in the WhatsApp. Okay, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, mientras I uh, go through the attendance, That's okay? So let's... One moment, one moment. Okay, so let's complete the sentences using the correct form. Have to and words provided. Aquí hay ya unas palabras que ya brindaron. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Hacer una oración utilizando, utilizando have to or has to, dependiendo de la, de la persona. Y si, por ejemplo, acá dice not sign, usted sabe que va a poner el doesn't, ¿verdad? Doesn't have to sign the letter. For example, the agents doesn't have to sign the letters. Es en negativo, all right? Si no dice not, es porque es en affirmative. Questions about these guys? Solamente de hacer las oraciones con estas palabritas. Questions? Okay, let me go through the attendance list while we're doing this. ¿Siguen viendo la pantalla, guys? Ya escucho. Ok. So, by the way, Christian, you stay with me today in the 101, okay? Thank you, Christian. Okay. Uh, Tuesday the 15th, okay. Angel Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Um, Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del CID. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Uh, Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present teacher. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio, are you there? Driving. Is it still driving, right? Okay, Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. 
Marta Lidia Godínez. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Thank you. Let's see. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Milton Hernández Sola. Present teacher. Lucía Susena Chicas de Claro. Present teacher. Surma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present teacher. Thank you. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Carla Elizabeth Herna Escobar Esquivel. Present. En Lisset del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So time is over. I thank you so much for being on the class. Sorry for the camera. I didn't notice. Uh, thank you for being on the class. I hope you have an amazing night. Okay. Solo Christian se queda conmigo. Y mañana we continue tomorrow with the exercise. Don't worry. Okay. So. Thank you and have an amazing day. Sweet dreams, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Uh, See you good tomorrow. Night. See you bye -bye. tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good, good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, Kenny. Good night. Let's see. Oh, my camera. Julio, oh, okay, Julio, it's already out. Aha, Christian, hello, how are you? Hey, I am fine, but I am tired. I, I know, I am tired too, because it's yeah. game already. Aha, Christian, first of <laughs> all, I want to say congratulations for being in this course and keep it up, okay? But Try to participate more. Oh my God, don't get a stock, Christian. Sometimes yeah, I feel but... that you get a stock and you should be shining every single time. <laughs> Today and yesterday, I'm very tired because in the mm -hmm. school, I am studying. You're studying? For, for the, yeah, for, I don't know, the part, for the part of the school. Mm, really? And where are because you studying? The, the school is is how to develop, mm -hmm. a, I don't know in English, but international, bachillerato international. International high school, or it should be, yes, international, but I haven't heard yes. that term. The international is international, but- But what does the, it mean, international? In the dictionary, uh, bachillerato is, I don't know, we baccalaureate, no, pero en, en, ¿de qué se trata ese bachillerato? What it's is it like for? A, it's like a, it's like a, a program of a, a study program. I don't, I don't use the program of, of El Salvador. Uh, so I, I is, have to change the program. It is like an, an international, right? But it's yes, like. Like an in, in international. But is it like a kind of, but what level is this? What level? High school? The, right or is now, it just the name? Solo el nombre the, de the, the, name, the name is Bachelorette International, but the idea is the first is kindergarten, um, uh -huh. elementary, and the second is secondary and high school. It's three, three phase. Aha, uh -huh. and this right is... now I have in the in the first phase. Ah, uh, okay, because I'm 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 trying to look it up right now, and yes, it is it is translated like international baccalaureate, and I I have already looked yeah. it up in the on the internet, and it is it is 
the acronym of this is IB. Yeah, in the, in the acronym is IB. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's the current correct translation. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the correct but one. I have baccalaureate. Mm -hmm. I have to with the study. Is is 100 percent virtual. I had a, a platform, I had a usual. I have four and three activities per week. Is that in but, English, Christian? No, it's in Spanish. Really? It should be in English. Really, because the IB is not necessary in English. Mm. That it's sounds in interesting. And is it more advanced like the high school here in El Salvador? Yes. Really? For, for example, this program only had a bilingual school, for example, La Matepec, eh, Britannica, Americana. Really? That's yeah. great. Th there is like a, like a page, right? Like a page that is ibo.org? Yeah. Is that the, the official page? Yes. Oh, okay. But it is complicated because the, the the class the the teacher is is not is, is not Salvadorian. Ah, the, the, the course uh -huh. the course is is a uh, uh, nivel mundial. I don't know. Really. Really, I have I have partners to Spain, Colombia, Nicaragua. Really? So it, it is like a world level. Yes. Like a world, world level. level. Yes, Around the world. The, really? The first the first week is was very easy because it, uh, it's more easy the, the, the activity for Hong Kong. But this week, the second week is very tired because maybe three or four homework inside the activity. So I believe that you but might have, be having I, a lot of homework assignments. Yes, I, but I have to check the platform every day. Maybe one or two hours daily. Oh and I have God. to comment two homework of the other partner every, every day. You need to comment. Yes, yeah, I need to read all the homework, but I after I have to comment. But I don't, I don't get you a uh, good job or great. I have to, I have to make my answer about yes about the homework. Really? So it's, you need to very, analyze very it. You need you need boring. to analyze it and everything, so yes. you will know what what to answer, right? Yes. Wow. In, in, uh, one day a week have to have to a meeting with the teacher, mm. but only for us. But that's a uh, great opportunity. A yes, it's a great opportunity. That's a great opportunity. Do you have friends from any other country that are speaking in English, maybe? English speakers? Classmates? Mm, no? No. Just Spanish? No. Just Spanish. Maybe because you are just Latin American, right? Maybe. Oh, no, but you said that you have one no. from Spain, right? Yes. Mm, okay, solo, solo de habla hispana, right? Okay, that's interesting. So you might be so tired. Wow. Yeah. For example, na, uh, today, mm -hmm. after the English class, I have to finish the last activity for the this week activity. because tomorrow is the meeting and tomorrow I start the three model, the, the model three. Wow. Oh my God. Yes. Like, I mean, there is a big pressure, I believe, like being there, right? Yeah. A big pressure besides your job and besides these. But this is the only but, job but that this you have. Month, yes, but this, this week or this month in the school, 
is very stressed because in this in this week I have evaluation, I am preparing grade, I am preparing the sport week. Is the next week. It's, it is is very tight. But are you studying this in your free time or the school gives you extra time or, or no? I mean, time that is from your schedule in your job or is extra, I mean, free time that you use for being in, uh, over there in your free time? I am studying do, uh, in the free time or during the, or during the day because, for example, I have class. I had break time. In this break time, I used to read As the, uh, before I have the I have class and the other break time I have to comment because oh after God. I read. That's difficult. So it, it is not like yeah. the school is giving you, okay, I will give you from this hour to this hour, which is part of the schedule for me in there. That would be great, right? <laughs> Wow, no, I, I believe I, I believe how stressful it, it can be because I have been there. I have been there, not in, in that program, but I have been doing many things at the same time during the whole day. And it's so exciting, like you don't know when to eat. Like you need to choose, okay, should I eat mm -hmm. at the same time or should I, I shouldn't eat? I, prefer, I yes, really but, need to do this, like, yes, it's complicated. But but the program is more stressed because I don't exist a program. For example, in the Sabbath, you have the, the program uh, study, for example, uh -huh. language, math, but in this case, no. The you teacher create the program. No, I don't have it. I don't have And the, you don't know what, what the, will be the next topic or you don't know, you don't have any idea. No. Wow. For example, Poor the teacher. The, the, the next year, the next school year, I have to, I only have uh, in Spanish, uh, cuatro temas transdisciplinarios se llama. I don't know in English, but I, I only have the, the, I do the same tema in English. I don't remember. Subject? Tema? I, I, only, I only have the subject, but the other topic or the other concept is in my mind. I have to make the program for That's physical amazing. education. Okay, so this program where you are right now is the one that you need to apply in your job later on. Yes. Mm, I got your point. Wow. So they are like, they are teaching you like, how to go ahead and, and improvise. Yeah, I have to improvise. Mm, like, like you don't need to have a program, go and be a teacher. <laughs> yes, I, I don't need a program. For example, I use uh -huh. the subject, I use whatever topic in the, in the class, I have to, I am free to make whatever activity. Wow, that's so difficult because we have been uh, like taught to follow a program and to follow a structure. And whenever you don't have yeah. it, you, you feel like a little bit, a, a little bit lost. But what calls my attention about this, Christian, is that sometimes you know your student and you try to go ahead and, and, and know that your students needs. And sometimes the program or the structure that you don't that you have in one school doesn't meet your student needs. And whenever you got this program, sorry, and now that you have this program, you will be able to apply what you have, what you need for your students based on what you, I mean, what type of students you need. That's interesting about this. Because they are helping you and they are teaching you of how to, how to, I mean, get a topic from your mind or how to create it yeah. in the real time. And that will help whenever 
just in mind that you go to a school and this is your first time, you need to go ahead and create something, right? Or <laughs> you need to improvise. So I really in like it. Program, that it, it should be the it in should this be program, the I don't I don't can to pressionar. You 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 can pressure. I, I don't can pressure the, the, the student. Oh, you the can pressure is, the student. The student is free. The student is, is the autonomy. Oh. The student is, mm -hmm. is, is very, very free. Okay, so you are restricted. You're the one that needs to be strict, restricted for yourself, but not for the students. Right? Is it like that? Yes. Wow. Okay. So is it like like constructivism? Is it like constructive constructivism? El constructivismo? Is it like that? Like that approach? I don't it's complicated because the IV have to have to ten attributes. Mm -hmm. Attributes Attribute. de aprendizaje have, mm -hmm. have ten attributes for ah, okay. teaching That's completely different. Or, or learning. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For example, is is eh, mentalidad abierta, open mind, is eh, indaga, indagadores, mm -hmm. pensativos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, is is all the program is for autonomy of the of the student learning autonomy right that's yeah, great that's and good. that is a good program that is a good program i really like it what you already told me i don't know it but it calls my attention christian but thank you for sharing that with me i didn't know about this program but <laughs> well i can't imagine how tired you should be oh my god well in that case christian i hope you have an amazing night because it's time already and I, I i really want you to go and rest but i would like to ask you just a question before you go christian is there anything that I can do so you can go to the next level that you can continue improving your English there is there something that I can do Christian so that I can help yes, you with I, I can continue in the, in the English I can continue yes continue <laughs> Christian but anything extra yes. you, you need from me tell me okay no, this 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 course, I only four weeks. Yes, it's only four weeks. It's, it's fast and then you have vacations and then you start again. And it's not complicated. It's just to be connected, participate, and then you finish with this, okay? Yes, and no, then I, 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 I'm talking about the IV, IV Oh, course. sorry. Four weeks only, and you're, only you're done. Weeks. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So those four because weeks are, are going to be the difficult. Mm, yeah. Those four weeks are going to be the difficult ones. Yes. So don't worry. And I know you can, all right? I know you can. So let's keep it up in both courses. You can do it, Kristen. And I hope you the best, okay? Okay. Okay, Kristen. Is there any, any question or anything that I can help you with? Or if something I'm, comes no. your, to your mind, text me, okay, Christian? Okay. Okay. So I hope you have an amazing night. Thank you for sharing that with me, okay? Thank you, teacher. It's, Good it's night. nice to hear you. Bye-bye. Take care, Christian. Bye-bye.